We are told that the random variable x has a binomial distribution with parameters n equals 25 and p equals 0.8. The random variable y is defined by y equals ax plus b, where a and b are constants greater than 0. Given that the mean and the standard deviation of y are 65 and 6 respectively, find the values of a and b. OK, let's start off by actually finding what is the expectation of the random variable x. This is found by calculating np. So I have 25 times 0.8. So the expectation of x we calculate to be 20. Let's do the same for the variance. The variance of x is calculated by doing multiplying npq. So I get 25 times 0.8 times by 0.2. So we get that the variance of x is equal to 4. So now what we want to do is set up an equation which links our expectation of x using the identities e of ax plus b equals a times the expectation of x plus b and that the variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared times the variance of x. So we're going to use these two identities to set up equations to find a and b. I'm going to start off with the variance because this only has one unknown, a squared. So when I put in variance of ax plus b, which is 6 from the information in question, I get that this is equal to the variance of x times a squared. So we get 4a squared. If I divide both sides by 4, we So now we're going to use the identities, the expectation of ax plus b equals a times the expectation of x plus b. And we're also going to use that the variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared times the variance of x. Now to start off with I'm going to focus on the variance as it only has one unknown variable that I need to find in this identity that we're using. So I'm told that the standard deviation is 6 so what I know is that the variance of a x plus b is the standard deviation squared so I get 6 squared. So if I put this back into my equation, what we get is 36 is equal to a squared times the variance of x, so 4a squared. I can now solve to find a, so if I divide both sides by 4, I get 9 equals a squared. And if I then take the square root of both sides, and it's the positive square root, we get that a equals 3. Now I know what a is, I can use that back in my identity for the expectation of ax plus b to find b. So I know that the expectation of x plus b is 65. I know that a is 3, so I get 3 times then the expectation of x, which is 20. And then we've got plus b, which is the variable I'm trying to find. If I take the 60 away from both sides, so minus 60 
I get left with b equals 5. And there we've completed the question. Looking at the mark scheme, where do I get marks? Well, we get a standalone statement mark for calculating that the expectation of x is 20. We get a standalone statement mark for finding the variance of x is 4. We also get a standalone statement mark for setting up this equation here. 65 is equal to 3 times 20 or something similar plus the b. Uh, also get a standalone statement mark for setting up this equation here where we have 36 is equal to 4a squared. We also then have a standalone statement mark for calculating that a is equal to 3 and a standalone statement mark for calculating that b equals 5. I hope that all made sense and that you understood it.